What's up everyone, welcome back, Patrick here. And in this next video, what we're gonna talk about is how does a financial manager maximize shareholder wealth and what's the most important decision that they make? So we know, as we mentioned in a previous video, the goal of financial management is to maximize shareholder wealth, but how do they go about doing so? And a financial manager, they basically, in general, have three types of decisions that they're going to make, three general decisions. So the first decision is the financing decisions. And what this means here is how should the firm get funding? So basically, how's that right side of the balance sheet going to look? Basically, what um, mix of debt and equity? should the firm undertake? How's that right side of the balance sheet going to look? So that's the first kind of decision. The next kind of decision is investment decisions. And what this is, is basically how should the firm invest the funding. So they got funding. How should the firm invest the funding now to receive the highest return? And then after that funding is invested, hopefully it's getting a return and not just any return, hopefully it's getting the highest return it can. What happens after is financial manager has to decide on a dividend policy. And so they're getting the return, the firm is getting the return. The dividend policy basically is uh, deciding how much of the earnings should be paid out as dividends versus how much of the earnings should be retained in the company. There's only two things that can happen with earnings. Either they get paid out to dividends or they get paid out to shareholders as dividends or those earnings get retained in the company for further growth or for other things, but hopefully, usually it's for more expansion. So how much of the earnings should be paid out as dividends versus retained in the company? And actually, all of these things here, they're gonna be different chapters in your finance textbook. There's going to be a chapter dealing with what mix of debt and equity should the firm get on that right side of the balance sheet in order to get the lowest cost of capital. And then how should they invest the funding? So this was going to deal with like capital budgeting and PV projects. There's going to be a chapter on um, dividend policy. So how much of the earnings should be paid out as dividends versus retained in the company. So. Those are the three main general decisions that a financial manager makes. Now, out of these three, which one is the most important? Which one is going to be most directly maximizing that shareholder wealth? Well, it's actually gonna be the investment decision. So this here is the most important because it has the greatest effect on shareholder wealth in the long term.
right? Those projects that the firm invests in have to give a high enough return. So even if the financing decision, it's also very important, but let's say it's not optimal. And so that cost of capital is fairly high. You gotta pay a high interest rate, for example, on certain debt you're taking. If the investment decisions are optimal, then usually the return is going to be a lot higher than the cost of capital. Again, it depends on the business and their margins and stuff, but usually even if the cost of capital is kind of high, usually the return on optimal investment decisions is going to be higher. But if it's the other way, let's say that the firm, let's say they get the lowest cost of capital they can, so their financing decisions are perfect, but then they start investing in bad projects or in projects that aren't giving a high return, then no matter how good that financing is, the firm isn't gonna be able to grow and they may even start taking losses. And then dividend policy, if the investment decisions aren't optimal, then there's not even gonna be any consideration for dividends because all those earnings, if there's any earnings, have to be retained in the company and not even for growth, but just more so to survive. Right? and just to get the company back up to par. So investment decisions in the long run have the greatest effect on shareholder wealth, and so they are the most important decisions that the financial manager makes. Now, to expand on this a little bit more, this part here, you can actually, um, I'm going to further expand on investment decisions. Investment decisions You have to look at it, or a manager looks at it, from two perspectives in the short term and then in the long term. So investment decisions made in the short term, they're more so for working capital management, managing that net working capital, which is current assets and current liabilities if you remember from accounting. So stuff like cash, inventory receivables, short-term debts, accounts payable. And the goal for short-term investment decisions is to provide liquidity for the firm. So to meet interest payments, short-term debts, stuff like that, inventory turnover. Now in the long term, Investment decisions made in the long term deal with capital budgeting. So investing in long-term fixed assets that are going to provide a return, invest in long-term projects that maximize return and profitability. And all of these actually, again, even further into detail are going to be chapters in uh, finance, working capital management and capital budgeting. That's gonna be probably one of the tougher chapters you'll have in this course. And then investing in long-term projects. So you'll see uh, later on in the course, you wanna invest in positive MPV projects. You'll see that terminology coming up. Right, so this here, it's to maximize return and profit profitability in the long term, those investment decisions, while in the short term, the investment decisions are to provide liquidity. And so financial manager always has to balance both. If there's too much investment in the short term, there's gonna be lots of liquidity, but not too much growth in the long term. And then if too much focus is in the long term, the company can potentially grow in the long term, but then, there may not be enough liquidity to pay off certain short-term debts that come up or certain interest payments. So this is important as well. So there's always gotta be a balance with investment decisions in the short and long-term.